can you talk a little bit about what it means to get this honor in the first place? I mean, you've talked so much about the role that teachers have played for you growing up and to, to be part of that community now and to have this accolade on top of it. I mean, wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think one thing I always want to get across is like, I wasn't selected because I'm like the best teacher. Like there's no such thing. Right. Um, it's just an infinite number of ways to be highly effective, but what I do hope to do this year is, um, to act like a mirror for, for teachers. I hope that, um, part of my story or my classroom really resonates with teachers and, um, and that also in acting like a mirror, I can do what mirrors do and that's reflect light. And to me, like I've gotten to learn, I've always learned from the teacher across the hall. And this year I got to learn from teachers across the state and soon from across our country. And I know that there is just light all over this country from that our teachers are shining in their classrooms. And so I hope to reflect that light and spread their light and their messages of love and joy and, and grit and creativity, like even further. When we talked back in the fall, you mentioned one of the things you've really missed is not having those hugs every day yeah. from your kiddos. Is it, is, you know, how's it going to feel having that sabbatical extended another year and not necessarily have those hugs every day? Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, you know, it ugh, makes me emotional. Yeah. I'm trying to see it as like, I'm not leaving the classroom. Just my classroom's expanding. Mm -hmm. That's really how it's felt this year. Like getting to be in so many different kinds of classrooms, like, you know, rural, urban, suburban, pre -K 12, like, um, it, it's just, it was the opportunity. Uh, I mean, I kept saying it was the opportunity of a lifetime and now here we are yet again. Um, and so that's how I'm trying to see it. Is that like my classroom's expanding yet again? Um, but I'd be lying if I didn't say it still feels like a bit of a betrayal, you know, mm -hmm. not be with like my kiddos and um, be in my school, in my classroom. <laughs> <laughs> So, but I mean, that's like, that's what I keep saying is joy is not binary, right? Like yeah. no, that, that's that, um, with change, there's always give and take. Um, and so what I hope is, is just to lean into this experience and to grow, um, as much as I can. And, um, because that's what I would tell my students to do. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.